We're here today at Wentworth Park, Mercedes-Benz's truck training facility, to learn a little bit more about Mercedes PowerShift 3 gearbox and how to get the very best out of it. One of the most common complaints from drivers of any make of truck is that an air suspended seat can make it difficult to get fine control of the throttle pedal when the road conditions are poor. The seat can be overly bouncy. This is easily fixed though in any Mercedes-Benz truck with adjustable damping on the seat. Adjusting the seat is simple. The left hand control on the front of the seat adjusts the damping with the bottom setting being completely undamped and the top setting being fully damped, the stiffest setting. Anywhere in between is your choice. Most trucks have got three selectable modes for the transmission. Automatic, manual and a third mode which could be automatic economy, automatic power, automatic heavy or automatic off-road depending on the application your truck was specified for. Most trucks will come with automatic economy for maximum fuel savings. Knowing when to use each mode is really important to get the very best out of the truck. A economy is designed to give you the best possible fuel economy in the vehicle with lower gear shift speeds, a lower set speed for the vehicle, a maximum of 53 miles an hour and soft resume on cruise control where the vehicle doesn't use full throttle to get back up to speed when you hit resume, but about 80% throttle, saving fuel on that ramp back up to full speed. Automatic mode, or A, on the dashboard gives you full control over the vehicle, with speed all the way up to 56 miles an hour, full power resume on cruise control, and the ability to turn on and off functions such as eco roll. Manual mode is easily selected when you need to keep the vehicle in a certain gear for a period of time, for example when you're about to crest a hill or when manoeuvring around a yard. Crawl function makes manoeuvring really easy, even with a loaded trailer. Activating crawl function is simple. Select forward or reverse gear, a little bit of throttle just to pull away, and that's it, you're in crawl function. The vehicle will now crawl along at idle speed for as long as you need it to. If you want to go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, manually select the gear you want. If you need to slow down for more precise manoeuvring, you can use the foot brake to slow down. When you're ready to move away again, let go of the foot brake and the vehicle will carry on where you left off. As a driver, you've got a massive advantage over the truck. You can see the road ahead. You know what the traffic conditions are and you know what the road has in store. With that in mind, you need to help the truck to choose the best gear for the situation you're going into. Smooth and confident application of the engine brake, the foot brake and the accelerator pedal really help the truck decide what the best gear is for that situation. On the approach to junctions and roundabouts, we recommend using the engine brake as much as possible. This gives the truck the information it needs to select the right gear, not just for slowing down, but to be able to pull away smoothly again when you're ready to. This also reduces the wear on the brakes. Thank you for joining us here today. For more information on our products and services, including truck training, please see our website at mbtrucks.co.uk.